you know, we've been dealing with the remote work when it was probably since January timeframe as customers were really starting to ramp up for different projects going on in 2020. So we got a little ahead of the curve by the time we really need to get in gear between March and April. Mm -hmm. So in that time frame, we have been looking at a lot of different solutions, and I pretty much have them, them all, at least all the popular ones. And um, the name Splash Top certainly kept popping up, and we started to dig in uh, a bit deeper. And uh, you know, I worked with one particular uh, you know large customer in the uh, uh, Warner Media family that uh, actually uh, uses the enterprise product, and we had kind of gone over the successes that they've had in some very large departments, and that's sort of and got my attention because when you think of these types of products, um, you, you think of the, the you know the the peer to peer, the one to one. How do you scale that if you're in a large company or if you're on a team? And I was really happy to see that they had actually even created a, a user's guide internal for how to make uh, the performance really peak. And then I started to get fairly involved with it and um, started recommending it to customers after I had had such a really good experience. And we've got groups. Uh, uh, both Carl and I do uh, internal to NBC. There's various departments. And I'll also say that a lot of these companies um, use a lot of different products. Flashtop uh, answers uh, a lot of those um, particular workflows. When you've got machines that you absolutely have to attach to and there's no replacement, there could be dedicated hardware cards in there, um, uh, dedicated connections where they can't afford to have someone come in from the outside on a different computer. And you can kind of lock down uh, any sort of copying of files because everything happens on that one central machine, as I'm sure Victor will go in to explain how it works. So it's just a, a really nice wide solution that fits anyone that could be just doing, you know, uh, logging in. Like for me here, I'm on, on vacation this week. So, uh, you know, I'm logging into to one of my remote computers in my office and I'm 6,000 miles away. And it, it actually worked really amazing. It was it was uh, amazing to see the work they've done. And and I'm on a Mac and I'm logging into a Mac. So the Mac to Mac side of things work really, really well. And even though Splashtop, you know, offers uh, a bunch of different solutions, which Victor will go into, the idea of being able to have these different platforms supported um, is really amazing. So um, with that, I'll, I'll let Carl get a few minutes to talk about uh, some of his experiences and what he's seen. Awesome. Thank you, Dave. Yeah, it, it, it's similar to what Dave is saying, you know, in a lot of cases when we talk to broadcast customers, um, it's not just about the the PC or the Mac hardware that we're talking about. You know, we're talking about having an entire infrastructure in place with shared storage, large amounts of shared storage, uh, huge libraries of content. If you talk to any of the news agencies that use Adobe Premiere, you know, oftentimes they're connected to like an asset management system that has petabytes of uh, footage that gets pulled in from an archival perspective to uh, enhance the, the segments they're working on. So any idea of like somehow transferring this to people working from home and having access to all that content from home uh, on a local machine just isn't feasible. Um, so the, it necessary to utilize the existing infrastructure and the existing hardware. Um, the other thing I'll just say about Splashtop uh, in addition to the Mac to Mac uh, architecture, uh, which is fantastic, um, you know, in my area here, this is a market that, you know, is very, very Mac uh, centric. And so it's crucial to have a solution that works well. But the other thing that I've also found is uh, dealing with uh, editors, particularly some of the people who deal with promos, uh, having good audiovisual sync is kind of a key element of that. And uh, that's one thing that Splashtop really excels at. A lot of solutions you can get, you know, it's sort of kind of in the ballpark, but when these guys are, you know, rapid fire hitting, you know, uh, you know, three or four keys a second sometimes in some of the, the fast trims and stuff that the promo departments do, um, it's really, really crucial for them to have something that's responsive and keeps the AV sync uh, in line, and that's one of the areas that uh, I've just found that the customers here excel. Uh, you know, Splashtop excels at doing that. Yeah, I mean, I'll add to that, Carl. That the fact that that Splashtop engineers have put those controls in mean that they understand the problem, right? I mean, it's like yep. if the editor is not getting that as quick as you can instantaneous experience. Obviously, it depends on your connection and so forth, but. 
um, it, it, it's almost a, a frustration to them. It's actually a blocker if things are five frames off and you just can't really get that feeling because we all know that audio 90% of the time is more important than the video. So you put on some pretty good, uh, some pretty good points there. So um, the other thing I'll just point out um, before we um, turn it back over is there's a lot of products that do, you know, pixel sharing is probably the easiest way to explain it uh, before Victor gets into the details, but um, they're not all the same. And I just have to tell you, I pretty much have them all. Uh, all the popular ones, as I said, there's some that are good for talking to servers and just sort of general stuff. But when you're talking about video, every pixel counts um, and, and, and every audio uh, uh, counts. So anyway, with that, uh, I'll, I'll turn it back over. But so far, it's been a great experience. And I'll let you great job. It just, just one last quick point. Um, Dave and I actually use it internally as well sometimes. Dave has access to some Mac Pro hardware that uh, I don't have in my home office here. So I've actually used it myself to uh, remote into his machine and uh, works great for that. And you're West Coast and I'm East Coast, right? So that's just another, another point. Yeah, the performance side of things, it's always difficult under any type of, uh, you know, group presentation software to really get the uh, the feeling of, you know, how much it just lets you feel like you're, you're right there working on that machine locally. Um, so I just definitely recommend, you know, anybody get a demo, get, get an opportunity to actually try this yourself uh, with your network connection in your uh, infrastructure and uh, you'll see the benefits of it right away. It, it really is what we're saying.